Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys returning, for those of you guys that are new, welcome back, or I should say welcome to my channel. My name is Pinky. We're gonna get into the monthly readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Aquarius? Hope you guys are so excited the way I am. This is the happiest time of the year for us. Um, as you guys know, uh, we are actually in the busiest season of the year as well. So if you guys are interested in personal consultations or any of the services that we provide, you can find the link on the description box below for our online store. All right, let's get into it. Aquarius, how are you doing, my lovelies? Are you guys ready for Hallow's Eve? I am curious to know if you guys celebrate. If you do, definitely comment below. Let me know how you guys celebrate. Do you do a family thing or is it uh, just festivities or do you not celebrate at all? Let me know. All right, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels give us clarity for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Allow me to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages. Give me four cards to represent Earth, Air, Fire, Water for Aquarius for this month of October 2022. All right, here we go, Aquarius. Now, in regards to your finances and career, we have the Knight of Cups here. Maybe dealing with a water energy or someone in your workplace or maybe a co-worker someone that you're definitely aware of may be opening up to you perhaps even uh finding out that you have a secret admirer at work um this month and i am definitely what i'm hearing is secret admirer and someone that uh, knows them so this could be as an example if it's a colleague or i should say a co-worker that you work with they may actually spill the beans and tell you that someone is interested in you um there is almost this like uh, this energy of excitement and maybe even a little like uh, sensing like uh communication on the download type of thing where it starts off as something secretive exciting news for you guys uh especially those of you guys that are single now if you're not single be careful you don't want to get yourself in an entanglement <laughs> All right, now in regards to communication with the element of air, we have the three of swords. So this could represent you guys coming out of a relationship for some. For others, it can represent that there is a bit of news or information that comes your way that may be a bit hurtful, perhaps painful for some of you, especially if you are holding on or have been clinging on to a past lover. It could be that there are some type of revelations that start to unfold for you for this month of October. Now, I don't see it necessarily as a negative. I feel like for those of you guys that have been holding back or have been hoping to have some type of reconciliation with a past lover, I feel like you're finally being able to see exactly what's been going on behind the scenes. And it puts you in a position of power, Aquarius. Why? Because it allows you to know exactly what's going on and make decisions based off of that instead of making decisions based off of what you're unaware of. So again, could be news coming in um, that they haven't been completely honest or uh, perhaps if there was some type of lapse of separation or giving each other some space, they were probably leading you on. Um, it's feeling more like a gaslighting type of energy. So again, if this is an ex-partner and things start to come out to the open, um, I feel like they're doing you a favor at this point in time, Aquarius, because sometimes us holding on to hope or holding on that something may evolve later on uh, usually puts us in a position where we kind of hide away or we sit there and put ourselves on, on, on time out, basically, because you're waiting some type of result or you're waiting for that opportunity and while they're out there living their best life so again i feel like they're doing you a favor because this is something you should have grown out of and the universe is aligning helping you see that you must keep it pushing okay now in regards to the element of fire the challenge for this month is going to be to stick to your guns aquarius now, again, if you are dealing with the situation with a past lover or perhaps maybe some of you guys, there wasn't really a separation and there is actually news of a third party type of situation, 
They're telling you to stand your ground, Aquarius. They're telling you to um, stick to your guns. You're you're not at fault here. You're not at wrong here. Um, it is important to understand that whatever it is we let slide, especially when it comes to relationships, you're in essence teaching them how you want to be treated. And this starts from the very beginning all the way till the end. So if you feel like things that are coming out to the open, you kind of don't recognize that in the person or they're acting out of character, it's that they were carrying a facade and you're finally being able to see them for who they really are. So again, protect your energy. Don't give out an opportunity when you're still healing from that same wound, okay? All right, now when we're talking about uh, the element of water here with emotions and connection, relationship, romance, we have the Seven of Cups. So I'm going to be honest with you, Aquarians. I feel like you've been holding on to an illusion. A lot of the time this happens when there's a separation or a breakup, right? We sit there and we yearn for them, we miss them, and we're only missing the parts of when the relationship was good um, because of the missing, right? You're not fully seeing the whole picture. What they're telling you here is, again, the person or... I should say your partner or person from the past created this illusion of who they were. Um, I heard gaslighting. So for some of you guys, it could be a person that is a very good manipulator. And what they're telling you, it's time to, you know, it's time to see things for what they really are. Stop chasing illusions or stop falling for people's fantasy of what they're promising you. But there's lack of stability or lack of consistency. So my advice to you guys is if you are dealing with this situation, don't waste your time, Aquarius. It's time to move on. It's time to uh, let them know that you're not someone to be trifled with, that you're not someone that's going to sit there and fall for their beautiful words when their actions are not matching their words. All right. All right. And finally, here with Spirit's final message here, we have woman holding a heart. My advice to you guys is for this month, it's going to be very important um, to make sure that your heart is in alignment with what your mind is telling you, especially if you're dealing with this situation. A lot of the times we're like, our ego gets in the way, let me follow my heart. Um, but if following your heart has led you to heartbreak over and over, it's time to end that cycle and to walk away. Uh, walk away, like I said, not allowing. It's kind of like, Giving a person that has continuously let you down is like giving them the knife to stab you again. Um, once, maybe give them the opportunity twice or three times, it's time to walk away because in holding on to that relationship or that connection, you're actually creating more hurt and pain for yourself because you can't fully heal. And like I said, uh, they keep letting you down. So it's time to close and end that cycle, walk away from that and fully heal so that you can better be able to piece yourself together. So when a next relationship that comes along, you're able to carry or maintain a more healthy version of yourself or give a healthier version of yourself to your next partner. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I will see you guys soon. Until then, bye-bye for now.